My name is Matt Marshall, and I am a SMEAL alum from 2014, just graduated this past May. And uh, before going, to, going back to get my MBA at SMEAL, <clears throat> I worked for a large private health club company for seven years. I spent five of those years uh, in California working in uh, general management, and uh, three of those years in uh, New York City. Um, and then actually a couple of a uh, couple more months back in California working in corporate pricing strategy uh, before coming back to Smeal in 2012. Why did I choose Smeal? Um, I would say there are probably four different four different reasons that I chose Smeal. I think uh, number one is the people. Um, is there's a great community of people um, at Penn State and people that make you feel welcome. Um, the faculty overall are phenomenal and they're a huge reason why you know strong academics strong faculty were was another big reason why I chose to uh, come to Smeal um, and then the the companies that recruit on campus I was very focused on the <clears throat> industry that I wanted to work in after completing my MBA <clears throat> and the fact that there were uh, strong companies that recruited at Penn State was uh, another big factor and then finally, uh, proximity to where I wanted to be located. I knew that um, upon completion of my MBA, I wanted to go back to New York City. Um, I lived there for three years, and I knew that I wanted to go back, so that was another big reason. So I'd say those are the four big reasons that I chose to, uh, to go to Penn State. <clears throat> um, in terms of some of the challenges that I faced along the way, <clears throat> I would say that... Um, now cut that part. I'll start that. I'll start that over. So in, some of, in terms of some of the challenges that I faced along the way, um, I would say being back in a classroom after after seven years was definitely a challenge. Um, it wasn't easy to to be out working full time and then go back into the classroom and uh, and be there for you know four or five hours a day. Um, but uh, that was a, a great part of the experience, but something that that took a little bit of a time to adjust to. And then I would say, you know, being able to balance priorities in, in, in any MBA program, you're going to have a ton of things that you can be involved in and being able to balance those priorities between recruiting, academics, um, overall job search, social activities. There's a lot of things that compete for your time and being able to balance those priorities was definitely a challenge, especially in the first two mods. And then I would say the job search overall was a challenge and, and someone that gone from undergrad to one organization and working there for almost seven years uh, hadn't had to spend a lot of time in in, uh, in my professional life searching for a job before and so that was something that uh, that was definitely a challenge but the the great part about Penn State and Smeal um, is the resources that are available to you so in terms of, of the job search um, you know career services is phenomenal Mike Brown did a great job working with me to help me prepare a resume, prepare for case interviews specific to consulting firms. Um, and, and so those were, those were phenomenal resources that are available through Penn State in order to help me, really help me prepare for my job search. Um, <clears throat> I would say classmates as well. So you, you're automatically thrown into a, a group of you know, 160 people that are, are in the same situation as you. So there's that instant support structure that's that's built there for you as well, which is phenomenal. And then the alumni. Um, Penn State has the largest alumni uh, base in the country, loyal alumni that are willing to, to talk to you and help you out uh, simply because you're a Penn State student. And, and I thought that was a, a great component as well and something that was very helpful in making the transition from uh, you know, professional life back to business school. Um, <clears throat> so the, the process of getting a full-time offer, um, I guess there were a couple of components. The first was the recruiting process for an internship. Um, I went through and, and spent a lot of time networking and trying to understand the organizations that I wanted to potentially be a part of. Um, you know, was fortunate enough to get an offer from Deloitte Consulting to go be an intern in their summer associate program and uh, was also fortunate enough after that to come out with a full-time offer 
So even, even with that full-time offer, I chose to continue to explore my options and interviewed with some additional companies, some that recruited on campus at Penn State and some that um, didn't recruit on campus but that I was interested in. And so uh, continued to do my due diligence and, and uh, meet with folks that worked at these particular companies, interview with, uh, with three different firms and, and ultimately chose to, uh, to take a full-time offer at Deloitte Consulting. I'm currently based in the New York office working in their strategy and operations practice. Uh, but it was a, a very lengthy process, one that, uh, you know, that lasted really that, you know, year plus of the first year of my MBA into uh, the beginning of my second year. And uh, I, I think it's, it was important for me to really understand uh, what type of company I would be working for beyond, beyond my MBA. And, and uh, there's a lot of due diligence and networking that's involved in that to make sure that you find a company that's the right fit. And uh, <clears throat> in terms of how my MBA has helped me so far, uh, you know, now that I've graduated and taken on a full-time role at Deloitte Consulting, um, I would say two different components that I really use in my job on a day-to-day -day basis. One is, you know, understanding strategy and understanding, you know, both corporate business unit strategy and how that affects the decisions made across the organization. I had a great professor in Don Hambrick there at at Penn State that was able to really build some strong foundations and really understand the core concepts of strategy, um, as well as Vilmos Masanji, both uh, great strategy professors that I learned a lot from and, and definitely use, on, use their tools on a, on a day to day basis. And the second would be um, really understanding uh, finance and the core concepts of finance and understanding how to build models, um, you know, that will you know, in particular situation, work on, um, you know, building out a labor analysis. And, and, you know, those are some core concepts I learned in classes from, you know, Chris Moscarella, um, from Lou Gaddis, and using some of these, these classes that we took to, to use in my job on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would say those two, those two uh, fields are, are ones in it over the first, you know, six months of my job that I've used already, both in strategy and finance. And then finally, to, to wrap up, any kind of general advice that I would give to anybody that's looking at pursuing an MBA, um, whether it's at Penn State or whether it be at, a, at another school, I would say do your due diligence, understand what's important to you, and understand what you want to get out of an MBA. And I think if you can do that research ahead of time, understand the school, go and visit the schools, and find the place that's going to be the right fit and, and be sure when you decide to, to go wherever it is that you go that you know at the end of those two years that you're going to be able to accomplish all your goals there and leave there better than, uh, than when you came in. And so uh, I would just say, you know, spend the time doing your homework and, and best of luck in the process.